My name is Allison Neal. Before I was abandoned, after I am adopted. Growing up, I went to church until I was in about fifth grade. Um, after that, I just, throughout junior high and the beginning of high school, faith didn't really even come up. Um, so going into high school, I was, um, I had lost a lot of friends um, because they were living a different life than I wanted to live and I was judging them and um, feeling like I was better than them and um, and so it, yeah, it just caused a lot of friendships to be lost and I spiraled into this depressed state. Um, and so um, my sophomore year in the winter, my friend from one of my classes invited me to go on a retreat with her. Um, and it was cool to see her take that step of faith and invite me um, when she didn't even really know me that well. And so I went and I just felt super adopted and loved by the people there. And um, I, so I started going to youth group with her and I started going to church every weekend and it felt good to be like accepted somewhere. Um, but I was letting those relationships completely consume me and the love that I was getting from those people um, define me. Um, and so going, um, into the rest of high school, I just lived this moral life that I thought was what I was supposed to do. I thought I was just supposed to live by this checklist that I created, um, and that's just not right. <laughs> um, and so my senior year, I was, like, happy and ready to go, and my parents told us that they were getting a divorce. And suddenly, the two people who I thought would never abandon me did. Um, the two people who I thought I could trust broke that trust. Um, and that was really hard. And it completely broke me and just took over my thoughts. And I desired to be pitied by people. I desired for people to tell me that they were sorry that I was suffering. Um, and so that whole year was just difficult and but I knew that there was a light at the end of the tunnel and that I would be going to college soon and so I was super excited to get out um but I went to college and I was still letting home consume me I was still letting it define me and still desired pity from people um and so I knew that I could be loved by people in a that by people that were Christians, and so I started going to a ministry um, on campus and did feel really loved and super accepted and adopted. Um, but, yeah, and I started meeting up with women who were speaking truth to me and telling me hard things that maybe I didn't want to hear, but I needed to hear in order to get past this, the mess that was my parents' divorce. And, um, so yeah, I was still really angry coming into college, and um, I learned a lot about forgiveness and grace um, and the importance of forgiving and just like letting that go and letting that hurt go. And um, I also learned that um, I will never be abandoned by Christ. Throughout all of high school, I was seeking to be adopted by someone who would never abandon me and realistically as humans that's not going to happen um we're not perfect and so learning that god would never abandon me was what i was seeking what i was longing for um and so god has completely transformed my life he's taught me so much um and a verse that i really cling to is second corinthians twelve nine, and it says but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And, I mean, I was weak. I'm still weak. Um, but God is strong, and his grace is sufficient for me. And so, um, yeah, just I constantly have to cling to the promise that God will never abandon me um, and that I am adopted by him. My name is Allison Neal. Before I was abandoned, now I am adopted.